Hello. I have a broken heart and you don't. And this is Valentine's Day. That special day of uh, chocolates, roses, love, lust, and other stuff. So, yeah, this thing's pretty cool, huh? So, <clears throat> this is that special day for couples who love each other. That's my awesome Valentine's Day shirt. there are any women out there that want to be my valentine, call me. Seriously? Nothing? Ladies, I will give you some roses, alright? If you be my valentine, okay? I will give you roses. I'll even throw in this cute little dog that says sweet on it. You see that cute little dog? Good dog. And I'll even throw in these uh, teddy bears that say I love you. See the teddy bears? No? I'll even throw this big old teddy bear that says I love you, with the, even with the rose in it. See that? Uh, still, it's still in the box. See that, ladies? Alright. So, to help with my depression, I guess I'll review some romantic comedies for Valentine's Day. Let's start with something basic. Let's start with Valentine's Day. The movie. So I've actually, I've reviewed this before, but since it's Valentine's Day, I'll talk about it again. This, there's like a bu whole bunch of actors in this movie. Every, there's a, a bunch of actors, a bunch of different storylines going on on Valentine's Day. This bunch of different lives ruined, some find love, some, just a whole bunch, a bunch of couples going through different stuff on Valentine's Day. So that's, I'd give it an A. I really like it. It's a really good movie. Uh, let's go into Just Married with Ashton Kutcher and Brittany Murphy. Rest in peace, Brittany. So, this one's pretty funny. I got this for, with, for as a Christmas present uh, back in 2003. You don't care, do you? So they, you know, get married and all, a bunch of different crap happens. But they kind of, a bunch of different hilarious misadventures. Of their have the honeymoon. It's, everything's just messing up. It's pretty funny. I give it an, an A also. Uh... There's, well, not exactly a love story, but, yeah, Enchanted. It's, you know, it has a princess, you know, who wants to fall in love with her prince charming, whatever they all want. And it's, it's a musical, it's, you know, just a basic Disney movie, princess falling in love, wants to, she falls in love with the wrong person. Yeah. Uh, now we go, oh, this is good, Date Night, with Steve Carell and Tina Fey. Uh, so this is, uh, um, you know, they go out for the night hoping to have a really romantic evening and it's just, everything just messes up, pretty much like Just Married. They get, you know, the mafia are after them, they just, there's really just a whole bunch of stuff happening to them in, in one night, it's all, it's crazy, it's just a really good movie, I like it. All these romantic comedies are depressing me. Yeah, this is hardcore right here. Valentine. So, <clears throat> it's gory. It's a lot of this little nerdy kid wants to, wants to dance with a hot girl at this sixth grade dance, and he doesn't get to. Women are so mean. That'd be like me asking the girl to, to dance with me. Do you think she'd say yes to me? I don't think so. So, 20 years later, he dresses up in a cupid mask and kills all the women who said no to him. And he kills them in, the, in pretty grotesque ways. Uh, that's pretty awesome. I salute that kid. Um, B plus. What the heck? Nice and dancing? How'd that get in here? Who, who's this by anyway? Nicholas Sparks? Uh, now we come to what happens in Vegas. Ashton Kutcher and Cameron Diaz. That's not too bad. It's pretty funny. They um, they just happen to meet in Vegas and they get drunk and the next day they just end up married and they re they win the jackpot and they have to find a way to get out of their marriage because they don't want to be married so they're each trying to get the money so then they're sentenced to like six months or six yeah hard of hard you know tough love and they have to you know they kind of end up falling for each other so A minus I guess. Uh, well, fireproof. 
So yeah, this one's uh, pretty pretty good. It has a good Christian message. If you're if you're a Christian, you better be. I'm kidding. All right. So this firefighter has having trouble with his uh, wife, and he's. And they, she files for divorce, and his dad gives him this uh, book, this 40-day uh, challenge to try to woo his, get his wife back, and try to get his wife to love him again. It's pretty, it's really good. I, I, really, I really like it. I give it an A. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Mm, not really a love story, but uh, Aladdin. So the street rat named Aladdin tries falls in love with the princess and tries to pretty much lies to her. And tells her that he's a prince, and he kind of gets into doing Agrabah, the whole place. Wow, Aladdin's a bad influence. I never realized that. Yeah, you gotta lie to get, to get women to like you. Thank you, Aladdin. A, a plus for you, buddy. Uh, well, not really a love story, but yeah. Prom Night, the remake. Yeah, it's not, you know, the, the teacher falls in love with one of his uh, students, and um, so he kind of stalks her and kills all her friends at prom. It's, uh, I mean, I, I like it. I mean, I'll do a better review of it someday, but right now I just think it deserves a little rec more recognition, because people think of it, you know, as a remake to the original with Jamie Lee Curtis, and it's not too bad. I really like it. Hey, I know a lot of people out there are going to hate me for that. I don't care, because I love this movie. Uh, now let's go to Leap Year. Leap Year with Amy Adams. I thought this was pretty good. It was a little bit better than I expected. So this woman, you know, on Leap Year, a woman can propose. To, so this girl, you know, Amy Adams, goes to a lot of trouble to try to propose to her man. So then she ends up falling for another, an Irish guy. Kind of, it's pretty funny. It's really good. A, I guess. Has there ever been, like, a gothic love story? Like a gothic emo love story? I don't, I don't know. There might be. I just can't think right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make that. As a matter of fact, that's going to be my next movie. Pumpkin Man 3. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Uh. <coughs> Titanic. <laughs> okay, so Titanic is a love story, pretty much. Disregard of you know the the horrible tragedy. It's a, it's just a love story. So you know it's Jack and Rose fall in love. They do it and just he draws her naked, which is like the best scene of the movie. Everything else sucks. Well, all right, it, it's a pretty good movie. It's it's sad. It's romantic, sad. Meh. Uh, B plus. Wow, I'm really going through these pretty fast. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to take my time with this. Any women out there want to call me yet? No, you got that, that stuff I just showed you. Okay. All right, now we have the original, My Bloody Valentine. Uh, it's about a coal miner named Harry Warden who uh, comes back from the dead and kills people at a on Valentine's Day, he puts their cuts out their hearts and put it in, puts it in like the chocolate box. It's not too bad for an 80s movie. It's pretty good. B minus, I guess. But uh, while I'm at it, here's the remake, um, a Bloody Valentine 3D. So I end up, <clears throat> I saw this with my kind of, you know, my, my ex-girlfriend at the time. We were, we were still friends, so that doesn't really count. If yeah, we were just friends. I kind of like this one a little bit better than the than the original actually, because there's like a lot more gore, a lot, you know, hardcore. It was like a really hot nude scene that lasts like five minutes. Yeah, nudity is awesome. Uh, ooh, I really like this one. Just like Heaven with Reese Witherspoon. And has, so like there, this guy moves into an apartment, Mark Ruffalo, and he thinks he's the only one that's you know, there, and it ends up by uh, Reese Witherspoon who lived there, and, she, and she's kind of like, like a ghost. Well, kind of like a spirit of herself. She's like in a coma, but she's, yeah, like, he ends up falling in love with her, and she's just, they're just a really sweet, adorable movie. A or A+. plus. I really like this movie. Uh, Y'all are going to hate me for this. 
uh, date movie by Jason Friedberg and Aaron Stilzer. So it's basically a spoof of like lovey dovey movies and just basically just they went at dinner for two at a restaurant and they fall in love and they get married like within five days, which is silly. Just like Romeo and Juliet. What a stupid couple. Romeo and Juliet are so stupid because they kill themselves. So yeah, I like I like date movie pretty well, but it's not as good as epic movie or vampire suck. I'm gonna do like better reviews for them someday in the future. If I if I don't if I do them before my final video. So A minus I guess. Uh, well not really a love story, but love is in the title. Uh, I love you, man. So we, yeah, this one's pretty. It's pretty. It's, it's funny. It's it's uh, Paul Rudd needs a uh, best man for his wedding, so he, you know, befriends Jason Segel. They all just like hang out, have an awesome time, like 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 bro like bromance. You know how friends are, how guys are, just always hanging out and talking about women and stuff. So it's pretty good. So I, I can relate to that. Uh, hey, I guess. Mm, okay. Ghosts of Girlfriends Past with uh, Matthew McConaughey. So this kind of male chauvinist, he's a, he's a photographer, and he, you know, for his uh, brother's wedding, he kind of goes back to this t this place, and he kind of, there's like this woman he used to be in love with, now he's like slept with like a thousand girls since then. And over the night, it's kind of like a, a Christmas carol, but it's you know, like, like a romantic version of a Christmas carol, kind of showing where he stopped, you know, he hates love, and he doesn't like marriage or anything, so he kind of, like, the ghosts kind of teach him the error of his ways. So, yeah, it's pretty good. A, I guess an A. Alright, so I'm just about done. I wish I had more to review, but I wish a woman called me and said they wanted to be my valentine, so I guess not. I got one more. Let's see what this is. I need some beer right now. I already reviewed this movie. See that? Did, did you do this, Ashley? You want me to review this? Does any woman out there want me to review this? I don't think so. Yeah. Well, I'm out of movies, so I'm guessing the, the, less, the next thing to do is just to sit back and read a little book. Yeah. Candy or chocolate, whatever this is. I will eat your heart. Mm. Oh my goodness. Is that even possible? Happy Valentine's Day, everybody.